What brings me the most amusement whenever the newest work of woke trash rears its head is watching desperate people try to defend and justify it. Well, our friends at Digital Spy never disappoint. Woke Batman is the latest victim of toxic fan culture, and here's what needs to change. I guess we're about to be told that we're the scum of the earth. Again, another show with so much potential ruined by wokeness. Woke Batman had potential? Like her fellow Arrowverse heroes, Woke Batman will face plenty of hardships in the coming weeks as the first season of her show unfolds. Mansplaining, manspreading, trying to ignore the fact that you are starring in what might be the worst television series to come out in the past decade. After all, that's pretty much in the job description, especially when you fight toxic masculinity or, sorry, crime in Gotham. Them. Unfortunately, we're only one episode into Kate Kane's first solo venture on screen. The unfortunate fact is that there are going to be more of these, and it seems like the odds are already stacked against her. You don't say. Is it the inability to act? or her undeserved arrogance. At least, if the negative scores online are anything to go by, well, I wonder why that is. It's a mystery. After the pilot episode dropped, like an exploding turd, last week, reviews were combined on the aggregator site Rotten Shills to give Woke Batman a fresh rating of 72%, proving once and for all that they are nothing but paid woke shills. The critical consensus was that Kane needs more time to find herself. A personality might help. You can't only be what you identify as, unless you're woke Batman. But the first episode was a step in the right direction for representation and superhero shows alike. Actually, it was several steps back for both. Once again, woke Batman fails to understand that it is more than what it identifies as. Actually, in the case of woke Batman, maybe not. Unfortunately, the user ratings tell a very different story. Oh, they sure do! In what's sadly quite unsurprising news, the pilot of Woke Batman scored a measly 10% with audiences. And this is a surprise to you. Man, you people really do live in a bubble. Can't come out of that safe space. Many of whom seem to have deliberately review-bombed the show in an attempt to drag the score down. Or, here's a novel idea. Maybe they watched it and realized it was shit. Of course, some of the negative reviews are valid. Only some? After all, taste is subjective. No, this is objectively shit. And Woke Batman isn't a mind-blowing show straight out of the gate. You don't say! You're allowed to dislike it. Yes, I believe that is the rule. Unless you're the woke police. But when a program scores dramatically worse than huge misfires like Netflix's The Island, despite the critical evaluation being high, you know something's up. Yes, shills are up. Out of touch Hollywood is up. Let's just ignore all our faults and blame it on those straight white dudes. In fact, audiences tend to be kinder to shows than the critics who are paid to review them. Well, that's usually the case when something isn't woke enough i.e. Joker, unless the show happens to offend them because of feminist or LGBTQ plus content. And here we go, that magical shield you think protects you from all criticism. All the while, you fail to realize that you are nothing but a meme. Among the negative reviews, after Ruby Rose gave an interview to Glamour that riled the trolls. Is that the one where she said this woke garbage isn't for straight white dudes? I get these things mixed up. Lots of responses specifically call woke Batman out for pushing feminism and queer sexuality to the forefront. Well, if it walks like a duck and talks like a clueless ideologue, and there's that shield again. Another show with so much potential ruined by wokeness. Reads one, I see a problem here. When did this pile of ass ever have potential? You can tell a narrative is being pushed rather than a decent story being told, says another. Sounds pretty accurate to me, and so on. Those were the best examples you could come up with. Man, you're just proving our points for us. Sadly, it doesn't take the world's greatest detective to see why Ruby Rose's character is being targeted like this. Of course, we can all clearly see that she sucks. While the Arrowverse as a whole has always celebrated diversity, LGBTQ plus themes were introduced into the other shows gradually, whereas woke Batman's sexuality is integral to her story from the start. There's that shield again. Um, idiot. As I said, if you make this a character's only defined trait, then it's pretty hard to claim that you're not pushing an agenda. IMDb scores tell a similar story. 
Again, this should tell you something. At the time of writing, 55.9% of users have awarded Woke Batman 1 star out of 5, creating a weighted average of 3.1. In comparison, every other Arrowverse pilot to date has fared far better, although it's worth noting that those which star a straight white male tended to fare the best. And there's that dirty word again. And if you somehow manage to make Supergirl look good in comparison, then I think you have a problem. This isn't the first time that trolls have tried to sabotage female-led projects. Ah yes, I forget. Criticism of woke garbage in modern year is sabotage. Thanks for reminding me. Last year, Star Wars actress Kelly Marie Tran revealed the abuse she'd received online from sexist audiences. There's that questionable story again. And the trolls came out in full force when Captain Nasty was bombarded with negative reviews before it was even released in cinemas. I don't see why anybody would be angry at Brie Larson. She's been so so welcoming to straight white male fans of the MCU. To combat this, and after order to do so by Disney, Rotten Shills commendably disabled the comments feature on films prior to release. All must fall in line, yo. A few months later, they added another feature which forces users to prove they bought a ticket before their review can count towards the displayed audience score. Quash all non-woke dissent. So far, these measures have been relatively successful, but the problem is they are only targeted specifically at movies. Must start censoring TV shows now. All must fall in line behind woke Batman, as can be seen from the huge discrepancy between Woke Batman's critics and audience scores. And why is that again? I guess we'll never fully unravel this mystery. If we are to take aggregate review scores at all seriously, more needs to be done to prevent TV shows from being review bombed in the same way that The Last Jedi and Captain Marvel were before. Two of the best films of the past decade. Can't see why anybody would have a problem with either of them. While it's likely that the score for Woke Batman will rise once the trolls move on, you mean your non-woke, non-paid critics, and the reviews are once again made predominantly in good faith, you may want to repeat this to, quote, professional critics. It's grossly unfair that a show's reputation should be attacked like this before it had the chance to grow into itself. Well, life isn't fair, cupcake. Particularly if these critiques are grounded in sexism and homophobia. Man, you're gonna wear out that shield. Woke Batman is the first superhero show to star a lesbian character in the central role, but more will surely come in its wake. Yep, because this is the only measure of whether or not something gets made in current year. So it's vital that these shows are evaluated on their own merits, free of prejudice and bias. Again, tell that to quote professional critics. Of course, that's easier said than done. Well, how sad. Online forums will never be able to stamp out the presence of trolls completely. Again, you mean your critics and those that can see woke garbage for what it is. They're just a sad fact of life. Kind of like this article. Expressing an opinion is one thing, but weaponizing it is another. Is that what criticism is now? Well then, bow to woke Batman. What's important is that sites show a willingness to tackle this problem head on with all aspects of entertainment, just like Rotten Shills did in regard to movies. Previous measures taken might not work for TV in the same way. Oh, I'm sure they'll find a way. So we all need to think outside the box on this particular matter, whether we're larger corporations making user changes or smaller fan communities speaking up on social media. Twitter is always a great time. Either way, Woke Batman and her fellow heroes shouldn't be the only ones who fight for justice and equality in the world today. Get a clue. And that's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe and check your subscription and notification status because YouTube is being shady on these things lately. And as always, everyone, thank you for watching and have a great day.